Happy Monday, Los Al at home, and welcome to Cambodia. The Kingdom of Cambodia is largely a land of plains and great rivers in the region of Southeast Asia. With a population of about 13 million people, the Cambodians live in cities and villages spread across a country that is about the size of Missouri. Now, while the official language in Cambodia is called Khmer, many people here also speak French and English. Now, Cambodia has a rich history and culture. People believe in having close families that show respect for each other and definitely believe in being courteous for one another. Cambodian dancers wear traditional brightly colored dresses and perform traditional dances as they have for thousands and thousands of years. Cambodia is also known for having its own form of martial arts that's really similar to karate. Now, we talked about Cambodia's past and I kind of want to touch on that in a moment here. The ancestors of Cambodia, they once had an empire called Angkor that was built sometime between the 9th and 15th century. One of the buildings from Angkor called Angkor Wat is still the world's largest religious structure. Now guys, it's sad to say that the Cambodian people have endured so much over the course of history, including many wars and really sad tragedies. But they've been resilient and strong seemingly living by a ancient Cambodian proverb that says, fear not for the future, weep not for the past. Hey guys, let's spread some love for the Cambodian people, huh? All right, thanks so much for visiting this wonderful country. I want to visit this place so badly, uh, I can't wait. We have the Pledge of Allegiance as led by our friend, Eleni. Are you ready, Eleni? Go ahead and take it away. Good morning, my name is Eleni. This is my cousin Annalise. She will be joining me in the Pledge of Allegiance. And remember, please remove all caps, place your right hand over your heart, and ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, scholars, and Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye. Happy Halloween. Thanks so much, Eleni, for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I hope you have a fantastic week. <laughs> Happy birthday to Asher Yuan, Shay Inglis, Kennedy Robart, Rory DeWitt, Christian Almendares, Albert Leomitti, Maya Cubit, Ashna Patel, Tegan Castaneda, Adela Fortmiller, Benjamin Thomas Steinberg, Lily Ruiz, Kern Reynolds, Caleb Choi, and Maverick Kibler. Happy birthday! It's time to spread some kindness and love. Let's have a gratitude party! Hi, I'm Evie from Mrs. Sears Miss Class, second grade, and I want to tell you about what I'm grateful for. So first of all, I'm grateful for my brother because he's kind to me, and I'm thankful for my parents because they give me electricity and a roof above my head, and they give me love, and last but not least, I have. I know I said this is the last one, but it's not. I'm thankful for cats, and then now it's last but not least, and yeah, I'm thankful for my teacher and classmates. Hey, I'm Claire. And I'm Emily. Um, so we are grateful for each other, and we're also grateful for our sister Adela, our older sister Adela. Hi, I'm Adela. <laughs> and we're grateful, grateful for our parents. Yeah. Bye. And now it's time for A for the day. We have three A for the days today. Our first A for the day is a kindergartner from Mrs. Freyer's class. Now this student's nominated in all five areas, but really stands out to me is the fact that she takes the time to do everything right. And I absolutely love that dedication to detail. Are you ready to find out who I'm excited about? Well, it is Samantha Sheedy. Way to go, Samantha. Thanks for doing the hard work to be a Los Alamos Home Scholar. Samantha strives to do her best every day. 
If she is unsure of something, she always asks for clarification and then applies it to her learning. She will even stay online to do extra time with me to further her education. She pushes herself to do better and it shows in her academics. Samantha is also a great friend. She loves to engage and have conversations with other students in the class. Her smile and fun personality just brightens everyone's day. Thank you for being you, Samantha. Our next A for the day is a member of Mrs. Haygood's 2-3 combo class. Now this student is nominated for academics and I know when teachers only select one thing that they are nominated for, it means that they are fantastic in that area. And by the looks of it, this student is actually the real deal. Are you ready to find out who I'm super proud of? Well, it is Shivam Bakta. Way to go, Shivam. Thanks for making Los Al at home so proud of your achievement. Shivam is a star student in our classroom. He is always on time and ready to learn new things. Shivam has been responsible with all his asynchronous work this year. I never have to worry about him. He always does it with a lot of effort and turns it in on time. He loves to read and his reading level has made great growth this year. He just finished writing a fantastic animal report on snakes. I know he will continue to be a scholar for the rest of this year and throughout his school years. Shivam, keep up the outstanding work and keep asking those questions. Our third and finally for the day is a fourth grader in Ms. Bottrell's class. Now, what excites me the most about this student is because she had a little bit of struggle in the beginning of the year and she's made a big turnaround and has been finding success each and every day. You see, you guys, what you can learn from this student is that it's never too late. You can put your effort in and make a huge difference in your education if you just focus in and do whatever it takes. Guys, I'm so excited and proud of this student that's nominated for academics, ambition, and accountability. Are you ready? Well, let's celebrate Scarlett Vrooman. Way to go, Scarlett. Thanks for making all of us in Los Alhelm so proud of your progress. Scarlett is an inspiration. From the beginning of the year, her intrinsic desire to do her best has been evident. But like many students, switching to an online classroom has had its challenges. While she always logged on and tried her best, it took her a little while for her to settle in to new and different routines and expectations. She has been persevering and putting in the hard work. I am proud of how she has used a growth mindset to attack this school year. She is a student that is on target with all of her work now and shows independence and accountability. I am so proud of you. There you have it, La Salle. Remember, listen to your teacher, follow instructions from your parents, take a risk, and I'll see you online. Bye.